Hey guys, welcome back to some more Critic Captain 2017 and part 11 of our road to world number one with England. And today we have the fourth Ashes Test match against Australia. It's 1 1 in the series. This is a huge match. If we lose this one, we can't win the series anymore, and that really dents our chances of getting to the world number one as quick as I was hoping. Um, but yeah, let's get into the match. Chris Wilkes is injured, of course, which is a real big shame. Uh, we'll just have a look at the conditions. It looks like it's just going to be hot. I think Stephen Finn deserves a chance in this series. Um, he's going to bat at 9. I mean, there's not a lot of depth from broad onwards, really. But um, we'll just have to cope with that. I think batting-wise, we're doing all right. Um, we've had one badish innings and... And, and that's about it. Uh, we're going to bat first once again. Oh, thank you so much for the support so far on the series. It's been absolutely mind blown. Um, yeah, uh, keep leaving those likes. Keep keep supporting. Uh, it keeps me going. So yeah, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, Hamid almost out early on there. Uh, but if we can get a good total from Cook and Hamid, then um, yeah, hopefully things will be good. But we're 80 without loss early on in the, the day, which is good to see. You know, scoring nearly 100 runs in that first session. Obviously, Hamid is gone now for 42. Obviously, he's a, a quite a defensive batsman, so it can be quite difficult to score runs when he's at the crease. And Root gone for another duck. He's had a really poor series, and if we do lose the Ashes, he's going to come under scrutiny. Uh, over his captaincy. Alistair Cook gets to 50. Peterson off to a good start in his innings into the 30s now, but Cook gone for 63. So once again, uh, three down here for less than 150, which is really not good. 50 for Kevin Peterson once again, though. He's had one failure in this whole series. And the rest looking very, very good indeed. If we have a look at this, if we go current year, uh, or maybe, shall we go, versus country Australia. Uh, maybe that's not the best one to look at. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Current, current competition, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Current series, he's averaging 80 in this series so far. He's been absolutely brilliant. Uh probably the, the player of the series so far um, I don't think this is a day a day and night one uh, but there we go, there's the end of day one, 232 for three, not bad, we sort of lost the run rate towards the end of the day, 50 for Gary Balance by the way that's a really good start to day two I could be out and it is, Peterson gone in the 90s again he's just getting the yips a little bit in the 90s um, hopefully Bairstow can come and have a good performance today he's been struggling a little bit this series apart from the double century um, that's launch interval on day 2 307 for 4 oh balance could be out here that's a terrific delivery from Mitchell Stark balance gone for 67 now Ben Stokes comes to the crease uh, hoping to get a good performance from him as well um, uh, and Johnny Bairstow performed quite well. Yeah. Bairstow's hit again. He keeps getting hit. It's the third time this series he's been hit hard, and this could be a retirement. Oh, it's not. 50 for Johnny Bairstow, by the way. Uh, despite being hit. Stokes gone for 35. Bairstow into the 70s now. That's high in the air. Is there a field underneath it? There is. He's gone for 70. Stephen Finn comes to the crease now. I expect very little runs from this tail. Um, I mean, Stuart Broad should be getting runs, but tends not to on this game for some reason. Uh, certainly when I'm controlling them. That's a, a dropped catch. Anderson gone for three. I don't even think... Well, I was going to say I don't even think Broad will get the opportunity to keep the strike, but there we go, that's it. Broad gone for 10. 407 all out. We break 400 once again in this series. I think 
it's been a very good common theme of it um, and we've made the most of those conditions I think um, you know, we're 150 for for three at some point but Anderson has got this first wicket Renshaw gone for two he didn't look very happy about it but he's gone early on and if we can bowl Australia out uh, quite comfortably here then we're looking good I need to get Warner and Smith out we'll bring Stephen Finn on with Jake Ball uh, and see how them two do uh, Finn to Warner late on in the day Finn to Smith well I tell you what Steve Smith's gone here he's gone for 38 and Stephen Finn the man that got the wicket ball to Warner as well two huge wickets at the end of the day here end of day two 89 for three Australia are and I think we're going to continue with these two early on after uh, their brilliant performance last night we'll bring on Anderson and Ben Stokes and see how they perform Anderson to Cartwright nothing there uh, how about Stu Broad and Stephen Finn Finn to Cartwright gone he's out for 51 that's a really important wicket to get uh, Kawaja has come in I uh, don't know who for lunch interval day 3 they've reached 208 for 4 they've already avoided the follow on um, which is good for them not good for us we'll bring on Jake Ball and Anderson um, yeah and these two going nicely so we need to break this partnership new ball is available we'll chuck it to Broad and, and Stokes Broad to Hanscom Broad to Hanscom again and he's gone for 106 that's a big wicket to get Stokes to Wade if we can get these out now Stokes to Wade this could be a run out oh that's well out well out Kawaja out for 55 and now we've got two virtually brand new batsmen to the crease Brought to Stark, he's gone for three. This is good. Um, bring in Stephen Finn and James Anderson. Anderson to many. Anderson to many again, and he's gone for ten. Anderson to Wade. Hmm, Jake Ball. Broad. Um, 381 for 8 Broad gets another wicket we still lead just that's another one to Jackson Bird not quite, more about this time yes, he's gone for a duck and Australia all out for 381 we basically start again though um, you know day 4 We'd like to go and get a good total, but I think Hamid's gone early again. He's out for four. Uh, difficult to judge Hamid's series if we have a look. Um, so far, he's had the 69, the 109, and the 42, but apart from that, <coughs> not much to show for it. Um, oh, Alistair Cook gone for 39. Lunch interval day four, 71 for two, I think. Uh, we're going to be playing for the draw here, to be quite honest with you. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to be able to go out there and get a victory. T interval on day four, then 133 for two. We lead by 159, though, to be fair. So if these two can, you know, get off on one and really. Um, oh, what a shame! Peterson gone for 46. I thought he was going to get another 50 in this series didn't quite manage it though uh, if we can get to a 300 lead by tomorrow I think that would be really successful root into the 70s now real captains performs from him balance gone for 26 so <coughs> Johnny Bairstow comes to the crease looking for runs good running there from them too Australia have taken the new ball we lead by two 280 now um, possibly get past 300 for the day um, yeah 
298 we lead at the end of day four 100 for Joe Root brilliant start to the day for him and then he gets out straight away but maybe a blessing in disguise to get Ben Stokes to the crease who can attack and, and get us runs quickly another 50 for Johnny Bairstow yeah, Ben Stokes gone for 23 um, yeah I think we declare there we've got an hour and a half before lunch where we can hopefully get a couple of wickets um, Anderson with the first ball of the day yes Warner gone with the first ball caught by Peterson a gully yes James Anderson gets David Warner very early on he was the man I was worried about um, sort of taking the game away from us Anderson to Smith now what a catch by Bairstow Steve Smith gone for two Australia four for two now and what a start we've had here can we go and get ten wickets today broad to Cartwright not quite there Stephen Finn into the attack with Ben Stokes lunch interval day five they've reached 56 for two they're not going to win this match I wouldn't have thought but uh, yeah, we certainly need to get wickets quickly if we have any uh, intention of winning this this one. Uh, James Anderson, bring him back in. Um, and Stu Broad, yeah, they've shut up shop. 142 for two. Eight wickets in one session. It's been done before, but it's going to be very, very tough to pull it off now. Australia have gone uber defensive we're gonna go even more aggressive Stokes to Cartwright not out Stokes to Cartwright again and he's got him for 95 that could be a turning point maybe not though yeah, Anderson coming in now to Renshaw. He's gone as well, but I don't think we've quite got enough overs left to pull this off. Two overs left to get six wickets. It's not going to happen. Another drawn match. Missed opportunity there, I think. Um, but what can you do? 100 from Joe Root. In the second inning, 66 not out for Johnny Bairstow after 70 in the first innings from him. Uh, let's have a look at his series. He's done 210, 70, 66, 32 not out. Not too bad at all. His year has been terrific. He's been averaging 162 and has had five not outs as well. He's nearly scored a 1,000 test runs this year, which would be insane. So, we've got the decider then. Um... Oh, that's going to be nervy in the next episode. If you've enjoyed this one, please leave a like down below. It really does mean a lot for me and for the channel. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.